Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and today uh, we are back with another live coding session for the task uh, 459 from LeetCode Daily Challenges uh, Repeated Substring Pattern. So uh, today we are diving deep into intriguing string manipulation problem and trust me, you're gonna love it. So all right, our problem today is all about string and the task we need to determine if a given string can be constructed by repeating a substring of itself. So if that sounds a bit complex, don't worry, let's break it down with a few examples. Uh, so, uh, yeah, given a string A, B, A, so let's write it down, uh, A, B, A, B, uh, can we form uh, this by repeating a substring? So absolutely, it just uh, the substring a, B repeated twice. So A, B is substring and uh, repeated twice. So it will be A, B and A, B. Uh, it will form uh, our uh, string S. And if we are considering A, uh, B, A, uh, so uh, yeah, uh, we have, we can't really find uh, any substring uh, that when repeated give us uh, A, B, uh, a. So uh, the substring possible will be A, B, uh, yeah, and A, B, and repeat it twice or even A, A, uh, so twice, uh, it doesn't form a uh, substring. So uh, output should be false for this, and for this one should be true. So uh, now when we understand the task, uh, let's dive into coding. So we will try to solve it using two approaches. So let's go with approach one in Python. So straightforward approach is to iterate through all possible substring and check if repeating them forms the original uh, string. So first uh, we will get the length of the string and then we will only need to check up uh, to the half the string length because any substring longer than that can't possibly repeat to form the original string. So n will be len and for i in range 1 to n modulo without remainder plus 1 and if n modulo i is 0 substring equal s1 and if substring times n divider 1 is s return return true and otherwise return false if we iterate and uh, didn't uh, return true so let's run it for uh, our test cases uh, to see if it's working all good perfect we can submit it and see if it's working for unsynthesis cases as well so yeah uh, all good uh, it's working and for each possible uh, length i, if the string length is divisible by i, it means the substring might repeat to form the original string. And we then create the substring and multiply it to fill the original string length and check for a match. So uh, our function work and the logic behind this approach is pretty intuitive. So uh, we essentially saying, hey, if uh, this smaller piece of the string when repeated can uh, recreate the original string, then uh, we have found our answer. So simple, right? So now let's dive into approach uh, number two. So uh, onto a more elegant solution. So what if I told you there is a neat trick to solve this uh, in just one line of code? Intriguing? Yeah, so let's dive. We'll double the string, essentially placing two copies of the string next to each other. And then we will strip away the first and the last character. If the original string exists inside this modified string, then uh, it's guaranteed that the original string is made up of a repeating substring. So uh, let's implement it. Return s in s plus s from one to minus one. One line of code, really simple. Let's run it and 
hopefully it will work. Yep, all working. And now let's submit it. And yes, let's wait for results. And as you can see, it's even faster. So we beat 94% with respect to memory and also 88% with respect to runtime. So uh, this approach is uh, faster and also uh, more elegant. And this second approach is a bit more abstract. So by creating two copies of the string and then searching within it, we are checking all possible combination of a repeating substring. So it's a clever uh, combination of repeating substring uh, and bypassing the need of uh, also uh, multiple uh, loops. So if Python is not your uh, primary uh, language, I will also provide uh, implementation in C++, Go, Rust, and much more in description below and check them and let's discuss uh, those uh, implementation as well. So string uh, with their simple structure hide such fantastic uh, problems. So by understanding uh, these uh, patterns, we sharpen our uh, problem solving toolkit and remember every algorithm, uh, every line of code uh, bring us one step closer to coding mastery, even if solution is just one line of code. So uh, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this session, uh, leave a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more uh, coding adventure. And until next time, keep practicing, keep coding, keep exploring, and happy coding. <laughs>